You may be joining us today as if you've been planning on bringing a puppy into your home and have decided that you'd like a Bernese mounted dog to be your perfect puppy companion. However, how do you find the best breeder? In today's video, I'll be sharing with you what is important to consider when choosing which breeder to get your new pup from. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bernese Mountain Dog, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Bernese. So if you're a lifelong Bernays lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bernese Mountain Dog video. Right, so let's dive into today's video and discover the main things that you should be considering when looking for the perfect breeder to get your new pup from. When looking into getting any puppy or dog, there are several factors that you must consider. Most of what I will be mentioning in this video can be applied to all dog breeds, but there are particular elements to be aware of regarding the health and being of your Bernays Mountain Pup. The Bernays Mountain Dog is quite a popular breed in the UK and elsewhere in the world, meaning that well-bred puppies are rather expensive. When looking for the best breeder to purchase your Bernays pup from, you'll need to be very aware of online scams and being able to avoid them. There are many online advertisements for Bernays Mountain puppies for sale at very low prices, but the sellers will ask the buyers for an upfront deposit before agreeing to deliver your new puppy to your home. Firstly, you should never buy a puppy that you have not seen face to face as you have no idea of the conditions it's in or whether it even exists. Secondly, you should never pay a deposit or any other cost online to a seller. Always be sure to visit the puppies at the seller's home in order to confirm that they are genuine breeders and keep note of their address. Being a very popular breed, well-bred Bernese mountain dogs can be very expensive, particularly if they're in a working line. A downfall to this breed being so popular is that there are many amateur breeders that breed the Bernese mountain dogs much too often in order to make a fast profit out of them without actually caring for the puppies or the mother's welfare or the breed in general. This can be incredibly damaging to the dogs. Under Kennel Club rules, a female dog can only produce four litters and must be between a certain age to do so. So, it's extremely important to be careful when buying your dog as you should always be sure to ask for the relevant paperwork regarding the Bernays lines, vaccinations and microchipping. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. Leading on from this, a good breeder is one that will be happy for you to see the puppies personally. Transparency and trust between you and the breeder are significantly important, especially as this puppy is going to be a part of your family for at least the next 10 years of your life. There are two very different types of breeders that you could purchase your puppy from. An enthusiastic and hobby breeder or a professional expert breeder. Now, which breeder you go for depends mostly on the kind of dog that you're after. Professional breeders tend to breed dogs of a working line. The dogs tend to be extremely capable dogs. The breeder that is enthusiastic about the breed and breeds the dogs as a hobby is also a good place to go, particularly if you're after a puppy to join your family. Hobby breeder puppies tend to be bred in the breeder's normal home environment in close proximity with all the daily goings on of the family. If the breeder has children in the setting, then the puppies will be socialized from a very young age and the transition from the breeder's home to yours will be very smooth, especially if you have young children. The more professional and expert breeders will also be socialising the puppies as they, as they know the significance of this element in a puppy's life in order to be well balanced and a good tempered dog. Some professional breeders will not breed the dogs in their home, but in a separate building outside of the home situation. As a professional breeder, they're experts in their field and know all there is to know about the breed, which as an owner is extremely helpful. You should be able to ask your breeder any questions you have and they'll be happy to help you. They want the best for their puppies that they're selling. 
Which leads us to our next point. Be sure you can visit the puppy's place of birth, meet the breeders face to face, check out the breeding facilities, meet the mother of the litter, and definitely ask for all the relevant papers and health certificates regarding the breed. Good breeders will be sure to have relevant health checks, as they are after the best dogs that are the well-balanced in temperament and that they are not breeding with any extreme health conditions. It's super important to use your intuition when deciding on whether this breeder to purchase your puppy from is the right one. If you get along really well with them, you feel comfortable with them and the way they care for their dogs, then they are most likely to be a very good breeder. They are people that know the breed extremely well and will most likely ask you a lot of questions, which can seem personal, but it's proof that the breeder wants the best home for their puppies. Finding a good breeder doesn't have to be a daunting experience, and there are many ways you can find the best breeder for you. Be sure to check up on their reputation and credibility as breeders to make sure that they are legitimate breeders that is officially registered and will give you the pedigree for your puppy and all registration papers in your name. The perfect breeder is proud of their dogs and they will be an excellent, they'll have an excellent reputation and will be honoured to tell you all about their dog's successes in canine competitions. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down on the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bernays Mountain Dog videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernays Mountain Dog Show.